Back at the health fair here, wonderful, great amount of people. Uh, I don't know what the numbers are compared to last year, but great amount of vendors and uh, a lot of smiling faces and meeting some of the parents and, and uh, a lot of bus, bus applications came in today, which we're happy about because that uh, speeds up our process for getting them on the buses. A lot of uh, participants here today. Tell me what this means to the school district to have so many people involved in coming together to get these kids ready for school. Well, it just shows that the community cares about their kids and the education for their kids. and. Um, it, it's nice to see former students and, and their children now for me in, in my 24 years here and uh, you know the, the hospital's just been great for putting this on. I talked to, with Kelly Adams today and, and met with his chairman of the board very shortly and, and uh, what, what a great event. I mean uh, we're happy we can bring our bus in here so kids can get on it and take a look at it, get our applications, hand out and collect our free and reduced forms all that information that, that can be done before it all starts. So it, it helps with that hustle and bustle at that first day of school. Even got the Amargosa kids in here. We brought a bus in from Amargosa thanks to uh, some help from Assemblyman Oscarson and uh, we didn't get as many people on there as we wanted to but uh, it's more than we if we wouldn't have done it. And uh, we were just talking briefly uh, Senator or Assemblyman Oscarson and I about next year maybe starting it at Beatty and working our way down from Beatty to Amargosa to here. So uh, again that many more people here to get immunizations and get the information and be ready. Why is school starting two weeks earlier? The Board of Trustees uh, took a look at uh, some information in regards to the testing for uh, particularly secondary students. Semester exams are always you know in the mid-year and uh, in the previous they would the semester exams would take place two weeks after the, the Christmas break. So they want to look at uh, getting that wrapped up and done before the Christmas break. So the last week of uh, December will be semester exams so when the kids come back in January on our normal winter break they'll be fresh into their new semester. Now that puts us out of school right before Memorial Day.